Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to be covering how to use your Microsoft OneDrive account with Ubuntu Linux. So historically, when it came to OneDrive support on Linux, it was kind of a bit sketchy, and you had to rely on third party tools such as OneDriver to achieve this effect. And whilst OneDrive is still a fantastic piece of software and it's widely supported on a wide range of Linux distributions, if you're now running Ubuntu 2404 or newer, then you'll find that OneDrive support is now available out of the box. Although technically any distribution that now supports GNOME 46, such as Fedora, will also have support as well. But since I only use Ubuntu, it kind of makes sense for me to focus on that in this video. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is enable OneDrive support. And to do that, it's dead easy. All we need to do first is open up the settings application. With that open, we want to make sure we've chosen the option here where it says online accounts. And of all the options available, you want to click on this one down here, which is the Microsoft 365. Now you want to ignore all this information here and instead just click on where it says sign in. You'll see a subsequent window where it says Microsoft 365 account, sign in to your Microsoft 365 with your browser. Then we're going to click sign in. And what this will do is it'll open up in your web browser and ask you the question, are you trying to sign into GNOME? You want to click continue here to unsurprisingly continue. This will pop up a GNOME OAuth 2 handler. So again, click on the option here where it says open GNOME OAuth 2 handler. Now you know you've been successful because the next window you're going to see back on the settings app is where it says Microsoft 365, name of the person, which happens to be me. And then here where it says files, that'll be toggled on. From here you can close everything down. You're pretty much all set. Okay, so how do we actually access OneDrive in Ubuntu? Well, what you'll notice is that if you open up files, there'll now be an option at the bottom here where it'll have the name of the OneDrive account. So let's click on that. And as you can see, it'll say my files and then shared with me, which is kind of like the root of the OneDrive folder. So let's open up my files. And as you can see, oh look, it's the script for this video. Uh, obviously I'm not gonna go on all my files. Yeah, you get the idea, basically. At this point, you can navigate through the file structure and open and edit any files. And if you've got compatible software installed, Example, a word processor so I'll show you so if we go to that up and leave your office spooky isn't it there's the scripts for this video as you can see it now opens the file as expected now you can also create and delete files now that being said one thing I have found that is if you make an amendment from OneDrive on the web then it can sometimes take about 30 seconds or so for it to actually appear within files itself but that, that being said, on the other hand, if you make any changes on files, it kind of gets uploaded almost immediately. A bit weird the way that works, but really, when it comes down to it, that's all there really is to it. You've now got a convenient location to your OneDrive with, without having to open up a web browser. So, in conclusion, you now know how to easily add support for Microsoft OneDrive in your installation of Ubuntu. And whilst it might not have the bells and whistles, shall we say, of the official OneDrive client for Windows, or the bugginess of it, at least. With the simple need of editing and uploading files, I found it does the job very well. As always, thanks for watching this video today. And if you did find it helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, share the video, and if you wish to see more content like this in the future, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Thanks again, and I'll catch you again very soon. See you later then, bye.